Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to create a repository of display names for users who are most likely to be targeted for an imposter attack. Administrators can create a repository of display names and legitimate external or personal email addresses for users in their organization who are most likely to be targeted for an imposter attack. For example, if the user Mary Smith is added to the list because she's an executive who is likely to be targeted by an imposter, then inbound messages from Mary Smith will be more likely to have a high imposter spam score. Since Mary may also send legitimate messages to the organization from her personal email addresses, we can include the following addresses for her in the repository. When completed, the detection engine is less likely to erroneously score Mary's legitimate messages with a high imposter spam score. We can begin the imposter display name process by first verifying that the Stateful Composite Scoring Service, or SCSS, is present and enabled. Navigate to the Email Protection tab, Spam Detection Module, Settings drop-down, General Page. If the Stateful Composite Scoring Service section is not present, contact Proofpoint Support or your account representative. If SCSS is present but turned off, please turn it on. Next, Identify the internal users that are likely to and or have been used in the past for imposter emails. Once identified, compile a list of their display names. To input the display name list into PPS, navigate to the Email Protection tab, Spam Detection Module, Settings drop-down, Imposter Display Names. Click on the Add button. Add any personal email addresses in the Permitted Email Addresses field. Click the green Add and New button for further entries. If the display name list is lengthy, a CSV file can be imported by selecting the Import button. Thank you for watching our brief how-to video tutorial on how to create a repository of display names using the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash kb.proofpoint.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.